Hey there. This is a beautiful, beautiful Sunday afternoon out here on the Maumee River. And right now we are hugging the shores of Mouse Island. Isn't that right, Mark? Yep. Any history that you know of, of this island or anything interesting? No, not really. No? Okay. Isn't that beautiful? So, Mark. Yes, sir. You say this is Audubon Island where we're at currently? This is Audubon Island. Cool. My family used to farm this island in Metro Park, Florida. Wow. And this is an old river channel. This is an old river channel. Very cool. Bald eagles around here, you say? Yes. Great blue herons. And geese, ducks. Deer. Coyotes, A lot of animal life here. They're down here and at night they come up with the Maumee neighborhood. Wow. Like I mentioned earlier, this canoe hasn't seen water since I was a little kid and I sat in the middle there. So it's been could be 40 some years for all I know that's seen water since the 70s and she's holding up pretty well never, again. never again sure is beautiful out here it's hard to believe that we're only a few blocks from home and you hit the water and then you're in this environment you really don't have to go very far beautiful out here I am surprised they don't allow some kind of hunting. Yeah. Low Is there good fishing in this area? It's okay. Not this channel, it's like catfish and carp. Yeah. Oh, there's a, another boater down the way, up the river there. Cool. If you look ahead, we can see a deer up in the distance here. I'll try to zoom in. Good, you don't have to bend over. <laughs> uh, there he is. Got a good shot of him on video here. I feel like we're bobbing him out a little bit here. So, we'll basically turn around, but... We did get a great view of that deer. It was a, a buck, you say, like four-point buck or so? Yep. Sweet. We're gonna back straight out here. Hopefully we can do this three-point turn. Here we go. Well, that was very cool. Who knew we could do a three-point turn in a narrow part of the creek, whatever you want to call it, river there. What do you call that? Not a river, but a... Never read a... Narrow River River Channel. <laughs> Narrow River Channel. Yeah. Sweetness. What do they call these oxbows? Trying to keep my finger from getting in front of the lens. I'm gonna have to come up with a new way to do this. our adventure videos here with the poutine boys <laughs> sweetness very cool yeah that's where we were just at Turtle Man. Turtle Man. Yeah, Ernie. Yeah. So you're allowed to catch turtles here? 
federal park? I don't know. Do you need a turtle license, like a fish license? Yeah. There's a, what'd you call that, silkworm? And those are evasive along the, the shoreline there? That I don't know. That's pragmatic, that's evasive. Okay. Very cool. Eurasia? Wow, those look at those trees with the coloring on the leaves. What what are those? Trees of heaven. Trees of heaven? Where do they come from? Europe. Europe. So they're not native. Not native. And what'd you say that was? Alamotive? Autumn olive. Autumn olive. Autumn olive. Do they have berries or something on them? Yeah, the berries are actually edible. Really? Yep. What does it taste like? An olive? No, it's little tiny red berries. They ripen in September. And then we get all these things hanging. Walnuts. That's native. That's a native plant. Black walnut tree, yeah. And they're edible, right? They are. You have to soak them in water and get rid of that green part. Huh. Very cool. Oh, we're coming up. We got another little overhang thingy. Yeah, another walnut tree over On this side of the river is Perrysburg. To our left is beautiful mommy. From a view unexpected. Totally different perspective on the water, isn't it, Mark? Yes, sir. Woo. As we continue our adventure down here, to the left is an island with no name. is on the Perrysburg side of the river. Earlier said the beaver has come back. Cool. And beavers are good, you say. Mommy loves its beavers. Oh, that's a nice looking house there. So, one of the founding families, the Stranahan. One of the Stranahan families. Really? Stranahan. Stranahan. There's Wildwood, that's another Stranahan. Wow. Who lives there now? It belongs to a, a volunteer organization called the 577 Foundation. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can see it on the Route 55 side. They, they maintain it. Oh, okay. That that's where you can actually go and take classes and stuff. Yes. Yes. Okay. I never seen it from this angle. Yeah. Is it cool? Yeah. Very cool. Yep. Very cool. There's another one down in the roster. Five seven seven one two. Who would have known all this history right outside our door? Wow. Very cool. Oh, look at that. That's a very pretty looking bird. Is that an egret? That's an egret. Wow. And that's got some history to that bird, doesn't it? Yeah. On ladies' hats? Yeah. Oh. Very cool. Alrighty, we're about to make our final uh, approach to shore where we started our adventure. It's been very eventful, a lot of things to see. Just over there on the other side of the river on the Maumee side. Over to the left. That's where we came from. We went around a couple islands and there's the island's got no name and now we're dealing with a little boat wake. But no problem. So let's head on back. We're just about ready to get into our boat launch as soon as these jet skis get situated and 
We got a bunch of kayakers down there too heading into shore. Little too many motorboats on the water right now, so it's a good time we're coming in. But this boat, she's handled it really well. The maiden voyage on this fine vessel in probably 40 years. Pretty amazing. Very seaworthy. So here, here's to the poutine boys and woohoo! Food, fun, family, friends, fellowship, and today water. Water. Poochie boys out. <laughs>